I forgot, I was, for some reason I was going to say good morning angels. I don't know what's just happened to me. Okay, Con, leave me hanging. <laughs> I like, don't know what's that was happened. one of the most embarrassing things I think that's ever happened on the vlog. I got it wrong, I was going to say. I'm sorry, Do you not see back. how much you just left me hanging on my own there? Hey, hey angels. angels! Welcome back to another video, everybody. I hope you guys are all well. Today we have a very, very exciting episode of Vlogmas and I just want to have a quick chat with you all before we get into the fun things that we're doing this weekend. Connor and I are so excited to say that this vlog is going to be a little bit different because Connor and I have booked a fun weekend in London that we are so excited for. We're so happy that we are obviously still able to go into London. I know that now is a very sensitive time and um, I didn't want anybody to think that I am being insensitive by kind of vlogging my trip but this is something that we've all been looking forward to for a really long time and the main reason for that is because we are bringing Katie along. We've just pulled over to get some fuel. But anyway, since lockdown ended in England, Connor and I have formed a support bubble with Katie. This is to ensure that Katie really gets all of the support that she requires at the moment. We have been seeing her weekly um, since lockdown ended. I just haven't put it online anywhere because obviously it is sensitive time. I'm supporting Katie so I don't that doesn't always necessarily mean like pull the camera out and film when we're together obviously she loves being on the channel anyway obviously this is a different Christmas for the both of us and Katie just needs a little bit extra support and I am kind of the first person that falls in line with that and so we decided to form a support bubble with her I think this will be the first time that she's making an appearance in a video for a long long time and I knew that you guys all love her so much. Like one of the main comments that I've been getting, literally like <laughs> even through lockdown was like, when are we gonna see Katie again? So I hope you guys are excited to see her. I know she's very, very excited to see you. So we've decided to just plan a really, really fun weekend in London for her. This is my Christmas present to her. We're staying in a really beautiful hotel. Also, we have a theater show booked. We're gonna go and watch A Christmas Carol, which is a socially distanced performance apparently. Either way, first of all a christmas carol is mine and katie's favorite ever christmas tale like it is our movie that we watch every single year together it makes us feel so festive it reminds us of our mum and also we love the theater and we love london so when i saw that there were tickets going on sale for it i thought we just had to go obviously it would be really lovely to support the theaters as well after the year we've all had and um i know so many industries have unfortunately taken a really big hit and um i'm just so excited to go back to the theater it is honestly one of my favorite places in the world i just want to assure you all that connor and i and katie will be being as safe as physically possible we will be sticking to all of the guidelines while we're in london i'm sorry to have to have started off the video with a little bit of a serious chat with you all but i just wanted to preface the video with um a bit of a disclaimer really i know now is a very very sensitive time and i just wanted to explain before we get into the swing of things so having said that i have literally been waiting for this weekend for what feels like the longest time ever usually connor and i are in london for like i don't how often would you say i would say like once a month normally once a month yeah i'd say but i would this year i feel like we would have been there a lot more than usual yeah i just love london we love westfields don't we that's why we yeah. go shopping westfields but we're actually staying just off of oxford street this weekend so i'm so excited to see the hotel <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun will they have christmas markets up they might do well they don't have winter wonderland on this year do they this oh. is the thing right angels i've been trying to find like good restaurants for us to go for dinner like i really wanted to book 
one of those really cute little domes for us to have some food in and I did find some because there are some at Somerset House which is a beautiful beautiful location but the thing is it's a minimum of six people for dinner so I was like right okay let's try our afternoon tea but Connor is actually having a business meeting in London this afternoon so it would only be me and Katie that would be in the pod and it's like this massive pod that's meant for six people I reckon you could and you polish to... off six meals out. Yeah, I probably could to be fair. Everything is just booked up. Like, everyone must be having the same idea as us this year because, well, I guess there's not really too much else you can do, can you? You can't exactly fly to LA for Christmas 2020. So everyone's you going to, to Dubai. London. <laughs> Think about how many people live in London as well. I know. And every single restaurant has a social distance. I know. Got a cute little... Uh, Love heart. Got a car cleaned the other day and they gave me that. But it was a lady as well. Ooh, maybe she's trying to hold me out. I hope she wasn't con. I hope you told her where to go. I hope you, you said I got a fiance a at home, love. Oh, you know what uh, I mean. Anyway, so we're just on the way to pick Katie up now. Um, we've got our bags in the boot and then the boys are in the back. No, we've got the boys in the boot, the bags in the back. I got my horses in the back. The boys are going to Bath Country Pets today, which is their favourite place in the entire world, honestly. I'm a little bit nervous of how Herbie's gonna. Like, I hope he doesn't leave Hecky out. This is Hector's like first real. time <sighs> at Bath Country Pets, and Herbie sees this place as like all inclusive his... hotel. Yeah, like, pretty much. Five star. Yeah, he. <laughs> I'm genuinely worried that he's gonna get there and be like, "Sorry, Hector, this is my place. This is my safe haven. Um, you can go and make your own little mates, but I'm gonna be hanging over here with the big guys." I'm sure he won't. I like to think he wouldn't. I don't know, Els. I reckon he will be, you know. It's, it's going to be quite interesting because they've not been in a social situation before with loads of other dogs where their attention from each other has had to be divided. Oh, I don't know. They're, honestly, they're as thick as thieves. I've taken them on a walk before. Yeah, but Carl, that's five there. minutes, isn't it? Not a weekend. I don't want them to like form different gangs and then. They might be from be rival nasty. gangs and they might have to fight. Don't say that, Con. <laughs> Here we are, Bath Country Pass. Oh, they got the goals up for the boys. Herbie oh, knows where he is. Hello, Herbie. Oh my goodness, boys! Someone's here with you. Oh, Herbie. I'm so excited just to get to know little Hector. I know. So He'll love it. Some I have got it. something in my pocket. <laughs> and you know. Hector, what? <gasps> oh, good Paul. boy, Hector. Good See, boy. oh, this is what Herbie does. Herbie. Herbie are you going to sit? <laughs> good boy. Oh, I could just do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> Herbie. Oh, are you going to sit? <laughs> oh, my goodness. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Hector's a bit vicious. Look on at the, everyone. Uh, Hello. Look Angels. who it is. <laughs> you guys haven't seen Katie in so long. OMG, this is so weird. Sis, why have I not been on here? A very long time, sis, I tell you that. But hang on a minute before you put your mask on. How beautiful is your makeup today? Lovely and beautiful hair. Have you curled it? I see. I didn't curl it. Oh, then what did you do? <laughs> I went to the hairdressers. Oh, what? And they curled it for you? Yeah. Sis, it looks lovely. Do you like it? And look at my mask. Just stunning. Show me your beautiful outfit today. So, oh what? Oh no! <laughs> oh no, sis. No. This is fine. We can get a baby wipe and wipe it off, all right? She got some mud it's on her boots. Sis, what the hell? You look so tall. Yeah. <laughs> I've just seen how tall you look. <laughs> so you've gone for a very tartan look today, right? Yeah. For. London. For Christmas? Yeah, for Christmas and London. So we've just pulled up at the services. We're going to get some food. Katie was telling me that she's had um, toast with lemon curd on for breakfast, but that she wasn't a very big fan. Why, sis? Because it had big seeds in it. Big seeds. <laughs> now, if there's one thing you know about the Derby gals, we don't like healthy tasting food. We don't like cedar bread. <laughs> we like bloomer white. Yeah. is what we like in it. it says farmhouse white bread oh yes please. so anyway we're gonna get some um breakfast in this services this is always the services i stop at whenever we come to london and they've got a waitrose which is cute because we might be able to get some christmas snacks so that'd be fun yeah la 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 
Starbucks. Christmas. Okay, Brecky is served, everybody. Eleanor Jane Darby got a chocolate twist. Look at that. Mmm, yummy. I did want a pan of chocolat, but they didn't have any, so I thought chocolate Gutted. twist is my next best bet. Good compromise. And then also yeah. cheese and marmite sarnie. It's warmed wow. up and it smells really nice. Did you get my protein bar? No, I didn't. Sorry. I failed there. Alcon. Oh, Come on. That's hardly the end of the world. Oh my god, stop. Wow. This is Kit Kat's room. <laughs> wow, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> you have a really loud wardrobe as well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. <gasps> wow. It's oh and then, is that the door that opens up to our yes, apartment? Exactly. Oh wow. That, that is the should be for yeah. we can share. Yes. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, thank you so You're much. Yeah. This is amazing. Champagne for birthday girl. <laughs> it is like a princess ledger, it's like isn't a princess it? Diaries. Princess diaries, yeah, I know. So guys, lovely Andre that was showing us around has just left. So we are shout out to her. <laughs> shout out to Andrea. We are looking around the rooms that I've booked. So we are staying in Claridge's. Oh my god, oh. Kit Kat, look at your bathroom. <gasps> This is a very special Christmas present to Kit Kat this weekend. And Amazing. we're both obsessed with the hotel, aren't we? And we've literally only just arrived. Kit Kat, can you believe you've got this whole massive hotel room to yourself? It's mad, isn't it? And then we can open up our doors and it'll all be like one big room. Oh, I know, boo. I know. Look, you've got a dressing gown. Oh my <gasps> gosh. Oh my gosh, what? Shower. Sis, you know, my favourite bit of the bathroom <laughs> oh, yes, shower. the shower. Oh my god, I just feel so happy and lucky to be here. This is my outfit oh my. today, by the way. Haven't showed you guys yet. This is a Sisters and Seekers coat. I've got my angel diamond hoodie on, although actually this is Connor's, so I could wear it as a, like a jumper dress. And then I've got on my Zara Converse. And I think we're just going to wait for the um, luggage to be brought up and then we're going to head out and do a little bit of shopping. I think I want to head to Selfridges. Oh yeah, sis, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you manage to clean your boots? Yeah. Good job. I was actually quite upset actually because I found some mud on my boots when we got to the surfaces. So I was like... <laughs> <laughs> sis, you just look so cool. London? London sis, can I actually just tell you one thing? You actually really do look so cool and nice today. Do I suit those tartan leggings? Yeah, you really suit them. They make I your legs look really so beautiful. I think really moment. Yeah, and I love your lipstick. What lipstick is that? I think it's Little Mix. No way. Yeah. Right, guys, so Katie's just gone to get her handbag from her room, which, oh my God, I forgot the doors were open now. Look, we can connect from her room to our room. I'll give you guys a proper tour in a bit. We're going to go out and do some shopping now, but look, I'm in my room, and now... Oh, I'm in Dad's height. I'm <laughs> in Katie's room. <laughs> Behind the bed and then just pop up. <laughs> How amazing is this hotel though? So seriously, I literally feel like the luckiest girl in the world to be here. Sis, you know it's truly amazing. It is truly amazing and I feel like it's just what we need right now. So this is mine and Connor's little, I call it room, but it's actually more like an apartment. You come into this like sitting area that is just decored so beautifully. And then you've got this other sitting area with a TV and they've left us 
a little cake and oranges. Then you come through to the bedroom, which is just absolutely stunning. I love the dressing table. You've got another TV. Over through here, you've got the wardrobe space and then the most stunning bathroom I actually think I've ever seen in my entire life. Goes around here, there's the toilet in there. Around here is the bath and shower. Honestly, it's just so dreamy. I can't believe I'm here right now. I feel really so happy and lucky and I am so excited to be here and spending some quality time with my sister. Oh my God, everyone, hey, look at the lights. lights. Light up the tree. <laughs> Maybe they'll bring her back to me. Hey, Con. <laughs> Here he is. How's your business meeting, my sweetheart? Very good. Made you happy to be deals. reunited with you? Oh my God, Con. Oh, wait a minute. I did not realise we were walking past Burlington Arcade. That is like one of the most Christmasiest things in the world, Burlington Arcade, apparently, Con. It's all over TikTok. On this place, isn't it? Yeah, Bur Burlington Arcade. Are you gonna go in or are you just gonna stand outside? Nah, we've what? seen it. It's cute. Wow, it's you gotta right. go in the whole point, surely. You all right then, darling? What you been up to? You excited to be reunited with your gal? Yeah, I wanna see our hotel room, though. Yeah. Me and Kit Kat have told Con just how incredible the hotel oh, rooms I are, right? It. I love it. Oh, what's that then with 2020 on it? Guys, I just love London so much. So, should we have a little bit of an update for you all? Where have we been? Okay. We've been in Selfridges, right? We did a bit of Christmas shopping. I want to go shopping again. Yeah, we'll go shopping. I we mean, started off in Selfridges. Yeah, we started up. What's that in there? Oh my god, guys, sorry. I'm just being a tourist. The Royal Academy of Arts. That's Come on. Going to, that reminds me of Paris. Does that remind you of Paris? What, the little pyramid? There? Yeah. Oh, look, there's Fortnum and Mason. Oh my god, guys, I really am just having a moment. Oh my god, that's Fortnum and Mason right there. It's like that. Con, Fortnum and Mason is a really lovely shop, okay? And look, they've decorated it like a advent calendar this year. Oh my god, I didn't know. That's really cool, isn't it, B? Con, do you know what? A bit of appreciation for the arts. I'm gonna get a picture for my Instagram. Oh my god, guys! Maybe I enjoy this uh, He's such a fake. Bang. You're just such a fake, Con. Anyway, stop distracting me, everybody. We've been in Selfridges. I did some Christmas shopping. Um, I got some chocolate strawberries oh and let me tell God. you they are so incredible oh my god i had one and i was like oh, I've got another and then i had to really stop myself and put them away so i didn't have all of them so i could have some lunch because we've just popped into a random little what was that cafe called everybody cafe something but it was really lovely wasn't it sis yeah i mean like it was rose gold inside it was pink like a pink yeah. cafe wasn't it and it was beautiful it was like a sweet little thing in bath wasn't it yeah it was a little bit Fun um we just had something to eat because katie and i are a bit peckish connor had lunch at his business meeting but he obviously finished off my carbonara because that's what connor does and also i think i'm going to talk to you about that when i get back to the room but we had a little hop into Cartier and um, I'll explain later guys. Right, this is Connor Swift's first time seeing the room. You ready? Oh, All right, darling. <laughs> See you in a minute, Nina. <laughs> Here we are then. Oh, Let there's Kit Kat there? Yeah, that's no. Kit Kat's room through there. Let me walk you through. Oh, Bobby, we're gonna watch we're gonna watch a movie tonight, are we? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> this is pretty uh, special, isn't it? Something special, hey? That's what you need in your house. You need to come and see the bathroom. Come on then, let me see. Wow, sir. What's in there? Walk through. <gasps> 
Bloody hell, it's like amazing there. <laughs> oh, a shower. Pretty cool, hey? More than pretty cool, mate. Tuck it off. Let's just live here, Con. Am I right? Where's our clothes? Ooh, good question. Oh, moment of truth. Oh, oh where's <laughs> our... <laughs> Oh, they're all in Katie's room, oh, I just remembered. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to come and see Kit Kat's room? Here you go, look. Oh, and little Kit Kat's room. Yeah, look, they've got a little happy birthday thing for me. Oh, and you've got, got champagne. Oh, right, not that night. <laughs> not Kit Kat, trying to nick our champagne. <laughs> <gasps> There's nothing in there, Carl. Elms. You're such a liar. Go on then, do the famous Connor Swift jumps on the bed shot that you're desperate to go for. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> so should we finally explain the whole Cartier thing? Oh, I feel like everyone's on, asking for it. Right, so basically, if you guys have seen... <laughs> Whoa, hang on. Oh, oh this bed God, is comfy. Uh, we've got Sky Nude, we've got movies, we got it all. Oh. Yeah, boo, we're having a party tonight. So, yeah, if you guys have seen the last vlog, which was my birthday vlog, then you would know that Connor got me a beautiful Cartier ring. But unfortunately, it was too small for my big finger. So, um, obviously knowing we were going to come to London like two days after my birthday, we just arranged a um, little customer service thing and we exchanged the ring. And now oh, it fits. Oh, there it is. Because Connor bought it for this finger, but I wanted it on this finger. I don't know if I need to really pull the look Give off with camera. some big acrylics. Right, now I'll get the other hand in the mix and we'll both put together. Wow. <laughs> you got some fashionable fingers, hun. <laughs> just feel like I'm the lady of luxury right now, but you know what I mean? Oh, look Living at my you. dream life. Got the TV on. Living got my your dream. little trotters out. Come on. We're waiting on the concierge to book somewhere for us for dinner, aren't we? Honestly, guys, I'm telling you, this is like an actual dream hotel. They they are like your mates as well as the people that look after you. Like when we first checked in, the woman was like, do you want us to make any dinner reservations for you? And I was like, yeah. Go on then, hun. And I was like, I've tried to book the Ivy at Chelsea Garden, but it's so fully booked. And also I really want to go to 34 Mayfair. Anyway, they ring up the Ivy. And they say, hello, we have a guest here that would like to come to the dinner to you tonight. And they said, well, we're really full. Oh. If we get a cancellation, you'll be the first people we call. But what they're doing provisionally is booking us dinner at a few other places to see where, so we have the pick. Now, if that isn't the life of luxury, now I don't know what is. It's pretty cool. You know what I mean? It's pretty cool. And I'm just really excited to go out for dinner come back and watch a Christmas film in this bed, on this TV. Oh yeah. With some room service. Hot Dessert. chocolate room service. To be honest, being my life of luxury though is just being able to spend every day with the love of my life. <laughs> That's my luxury. Me too. Don't try and get on board now. I love you. Love you. <laughs> So we've made it out to dinner and it's a really, really lovely restaurant that actually I'd really highly recommend. The food looks beautiful and apparently it's part of the Ivy group. So even though um, the Ivy was too busy for us to get into, the lovely Nigel at the hotel at Claridge's has managed to get us a reservation at Harry's Dolce Vita. It literally looks incredible so I'm so excited. We're sat down, we've had an outfit change. It's just looking gorgeous as ever. Beautiful Connor Swift in a new Zara top that he's just bought everybody. Splashing the cash. And we're all going to do a cheers to making lovely memories. And to your birthday. And to my birthday. And to Christmas. Cheers, everybody. Love you guys so much. And I can't wait to eat some good food. Connor is about to eat an olive and none of us know what olives taste like. I like the black olives but this is like a 
Oh, why? No. Oh, why? What? What? Kit Kat, smell that. Oh. <laughs> what? Very happy. Oh, he's got your makeup on it. Oh, any I'm not having it. They just smell bad. I don't know what you're talking about. You remember about. when we ate that muscle one? Yeah, disgusting. Go on, Colin, just eat it. I don't know, nothing like it. Oh my god, this is such a fail. <laughs> oh, look at him being dramatic and sipping his cocktail to wash it down. <laughs> oh my lord. Thank you. Oh my god, guys. What's my game fun? Look at this pasta. Oh wow, thank you very much. Wow. I'm chuffed with these starters. What about you? That's good to me. We've got some rosemary bread. Ooh. And Connor and I got these pastas for starters and it looks so good. Food is here and look at this truffle chicken. Angels, can you believe Eddie copied me? Oh, oh no, my god. Can't. I said to Eddie, I'm no. you want a truffle chicken. And then she goes, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, it is actually, sis. Yeah. Katie Louise, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. What's my middle name? Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Connor always gets really bad food out of my dinner, so he ordered the exact same. I think you could order anything and I would still get food out of Yeah. Well, I should have got that. He got it with chips. I got it with mash. That mash is good then. Yeah, I knew you'd be jealous <laughs> of that. And Kit Kat got a... Margarita pizza. Whoa. Yeah. She's awake. Hello. <laughs> you okay, sis? I had a bit of a cold shower. I Did you? To work it. Oh, sis, you should have gone and got me. I would have been able to put it on for you. You okay? Yeah, you okay, sis? Yeah. How was your sleep? Really, really good. Was it? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Such a nice bed, isn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. I wish my hair fresh for today. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Can't wait. I know, but just need to find where the hair dryer is. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is supposed to be the hair dryer. Oh wow, sis, look, you've got a Dyson hair dryer. Oh wow, look at that. Oh my god, that's so cool. That is really cool. We've spent the morning in Harrods and we had some lovely breakfast at the hotel but the battery was dead and it was charging so I couldn't film it for you all but it was oh my god just the dreamiest breakfast ever. We made it to Covent Garden, it's so festive. Popped into Zara and picked up a couple of things. How's this this morning? I'm okay boo, yeah. How's Connor Swift this morning? I'm alright, enjoying London. Yeah we're just having a nice time aren't we? Yeah. Oh my god look at the tree. Hello everybody, I feel like we haven't spoken all day. Today has been one of those days when you're away that... Well, you're just walking everywhere. Yeah, you're walking everywhere, it was cold. And also, we didn't really do much vloggy stuff, did we, to be fair. We were literally shopping. We went to Selfridges again, we went to Harrods, that was so much fun. And we did a little bit of Christmas shopping. And now we are sat down ready for dinner. So I don't know if you can hear me, because it's quite busy in this restaurant. But once again, we were booked an amazing table at um, a restaurant called The Delaunay. I think it's near the theatres, so that's really, really good. I'm out of focus, which is annoying. The camera's not playing ball with me, guys, and I think it's because of the lighting. Okay, there we go. So that's been our day today. It's been so much fun. We are ready to go and see a Christmas carol, and would you guys believe it? Connor doesn't even know what it is about. Oh, gosh. 
I mean, as a Christmas Carol's biggest fans, Mr. Swift is going to learn tonight. The Derby sisters can't quite believe that I'm marrying into a man that doesn't know what a Christmas Never Carol is. It. But tonight, he will. I've saved it for you, darling. <laughs> By the way, how handsome does he look tonight? He's got a special blazer on, little shirt. Oh, I forgot to take your necklaces off. I know. I can do that now if you like. I look chavvy. You don't look chavvy, Con. Exactly. You look all right. Katie is looking lovely as ever. And the restaurant that we are at is very Christmassy. We've got a big wreath right behind us. This is what the restaurant looks like. It's a lovely little spot. Gorgeous, isn't it, Boo? Yeah. We are ready. Christmas Carol. You excited, sis? Jack and Josa, yeah. Oh, yeah, Katie's really excited to see Lauren Brown. Massive fan of her. <laughs> Massive fan. Can I get a clue of what this is about? Come on. Come on, Kit Kat. You're going to give him a clue? He has to guess. We've told him it's about Scrooge. It's about Christmas. Yeah. Right out my street then. <laughs> Good evening everybody, I am just popping on here to quickly finish off this vlog. Um, I'm really sorry that this was like a bit all over the place, it was one of those vlogs where I was so in the moment, obviously we'd been so looking forward to this trip for what felt like forever and um, it made Katie and I and Connor feel so so festive and it was just lovely and because um, we were shopping and it was busy and everything like that we were just not really picking up the camera so I don't know how this vlog really turned out but um I hope it was nice to come along with us for a little bit I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching um vlogmas is going to be returning back to normal this week sorry we missed today yesterday it was just catching up with editing and things like that I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one